Hello everyone, it is I, Ravenwood, and welcome back to the Ruby Volume 7 Crew Commentary Notes. I'm your host, Ravenwood. <clears throat> Chapter 9, featuring Polya, the, the, the director. Oh, Polya, the director. Kersey, Eddie, and Carrie. It was difficult to keep the shots interesting in the dining room table, uh, in the dining room, in general. <laughs> um, we see Grape Con and Drunk Man in this episode. Oh, yay, it's ex so ex exciting. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and that's just it for that, <laughs> I guess. I mean, hold on. They only had drink a drug uh grape coming and drunk man uh in that episode because of the fact that uh uh th it was basically to, to show like oh hey yeah we're voting against the schnees because the schnee was mean to me blah 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 and that's that that's just it. Um, and so uh, moving on. In earlier chapters, they made sure to have an orange glow and represent the heating of uh, mantle since they knew it would turn off in Volume Eight. They wanted to showcase that Ironwood was starting to have doubts, which would. Later, be clearly be seen in chapter uh, eleven, uh, episode eleven. Okay. Um. Let's see here. Every story. Um. Oh, you say the foot soldiers at the AKs that the Grim are able to overwhelm only in a few seconds were meant to represent that Atlas wouldn't provide them with much defense against the Grim because they don't care enough. Okay, yay. Okay. Uh, I'm starting not to care enough. <laughs> Every storyline was coming together in this episode and it's tricky to make a setup episode like this not seem like filler. Um... Problem is, is that they don't ever take advantage of filler whatsoever. Like literally, I the only image I have for this, it um for this slide is freaking Optimus Prime dressed up as Eeyore. <laughs> but my point is like, they like the my point is like they they don't you they don't take advantage of filler, which is why. Uh, they have uh, the books, the or the novels rather. The no this is why they they have the novels for before the dawn and after the dawn, or after the fall or after the dawn, whatever. The it's basically the dawn of beacon or whatever. Wherever where the team coffee and team shin is all in a uh, vacuum. Uh. <laughs> Like that, that that those could have been that uh, those could have been uh, episodes, but no, no, put them in the uh, put them in books. We don't need filler. We will just have episodes that feel like filler, and, and that's that. I guess. Uh, Ruby's on Oscar's awkward interaction came from. Then both riding the high of the moment where it seems like each of them have great plans that will go well. Uh, Ru Ruby Volume 8 exists though. Uh, <laughs> it, it just should. Well, we're in Ruby Volume 8 right now. Just in case if you haven't caught up. Uh, Ruby Volume 8 is basically uh, their plans didn't go well. <clears throat> Anyways, Oscar is starting to tap into some of Ozpin's memories is alluded to him how he mentions Atlas is held to a higher standard. Not 
really? But okay, I guess. I guess that counts. Um, Terry the Grim, or the Pterosaur Grim, or Pterodactyl Grim, uh, being hit by a fireball, part of a plane, I believe? Do they? I'm only asking because are they asking about a plane or a plan or whatever? I I write this so I don't know. Uh um, was a call back to Jurassic Park? Oh, it's a plan. Okay, so the right person who wrote this did not know the spell. Plan. Oh, my lunch device pulse. Okay, let me fix that. Yeah, I don't care anymore if you see that. <laughs> they strug they struggled a long time to uh, time with with where to put the Neo reveal. Uh, okay, I guess that that was the episode. There was nothing much to the episode, other than that was a very short episode, and uh, nothing really much happened in the episode. I guess uh, I don't. That's just it. <laughs> it was just an episode that happened. Uh, there was a new Neo reveal that happened. The writers had a hard time doing that, and that's what happened. But, uh, since this episode was short, um, I'll make sure that um, I'll cover um, the next episode of Volume 7 of the Crew Co Commentary Notes, Chapter 10. Uh, this week, uh, instead of covering the Ruby Guidebook review, which I will cover eventually, uh, I'll, I'll go back to covering that, but right now I want to go into a, f I just want to finish this playlist. So what I'll do, uh, I tried to do like one episode, uh, per, but I'm at a point in the Ruby Guidebook review where I feel like I need to take a break, just a small break. Uh, finish this, uh, and then, uh, either this week or next week, or sometime during this week, essentially, I'll play some more Genshin in Pang. Yay! Something fun. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoy the next video. And, yeah. That's, that's a wrap. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.